Lost Kayak Fishing Channel is proudly sponsored by... Hi, I couldn't get out fishing the last two weeks, so I thought I'd make a quick video and show you guys how I rig up my garfish. Now, I'm sure you all have done this. You've bought some of these soft plastics, thought they're going to catch fish, these center weighted ones, and they don't. Well, don't throw them away. What you do, tear out the inside, throw away that piece, and that is the most perfect little keel for a little garfish or a little pulchard or whatever. I'll show you them and I'll show you how I rig them up. All right. What I like to do, I like, it's cheaper, I buy a big bag of bulk garfish, then snip off the snouts, individually pack them into little bags like this, vacuum seal them, put a lot of salt around them. Salt does two things, makes them tougher by dehydrating them and also prevents them from freezing. So when in the morning you just grab them out of the freezer, down to the beach, straight onto your rig, you go fishing. You don't have to worry about them thawing out. Also, by doing it this way, you can just grab a few of these little bags instead of a big bulk like this that you'll mess all the time. What you're going to need? You're going to need some soft plastics with a center weight, some wire, some bling to attract the fish, and some trebles. Trebles, size, whatever you want to use. You can go big, you can go small. You can use single hooks if you want, you don't have to use trebles. Also, you can use your normal jig heads. These are the normal type of jig heads you get. Um, I think this is a, a TT. You can use this to, to do it. Anything that's just going to give your dead bait a little bit of a weight and a keel to make it swim upright, that's going to be fine. Something like this. So you got your bling in the front. You got your bling in the front, that just acts as a little attractant, hides the dead weight. You're going to put your garfish rigged on there and then down the body. Okay, cool. Find out where it wants to go. Just go through underneath there, through the brain like so. There you go. Then, that's your little rig. Now this is the best part of the whole process. This little thing is orthodontic elastics. Now you can go to the orthodont your local orthodontist, ask them if you can buy a few, or you can go online. You can get them. Our little orthodontic elastics, they are quarter inch, and this is what I use to secure my bait. So, wrap it around the head like that once, another little elastic, and what's nice about this, it's easy to do, quick, ow, ping myself, easy to do, and there you go, you got another little elastic from our wonderful assistant, thank you Carla. You're welcome. And there you have it, my dead rigged coffee. This is something else you can use, uh, apart from just the normal uh, elastics. You can also get this non-tangle hair gum stuff with various sizes of elastics in there.